And we are we are here with uh, the losers finals of the Street Fighter bracket. Uh, Ego has been playing Lily all day. Uh, is is switching to the Manon to maybe try and try and uh, throw Chuck off. Manon. Shout out to AJ check. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Is only I haven't I haven't played against Manon a whole lot yet in the game, but I hear she is a she's, she is a bully. Strong once he gets to the time Yeah. It's more damage than Zanky. Yeah. Well and the metals carry over between rounds, which is yeah. so big. A little bit I don't think she's strong early game. Uh, but if you can get the metal, the, the yeah. Rate. And she has like, has a gimmicky, oh, suddenly like, hit you in neutral, long range away. Yeah, and she's got. I noticed it. She has like a um, Jin 5K, or kind of Sol 5K works the same way, where you you hit once and then they pull you in. Um, oh, yeah, yeah. Has uh, five heavy punch. Yeah, or I guess. Yeah. It's it's really funny. Like I have like I have I have a hard time confirming lights uh, in these games, but then I'm just like I do one heavy, I wait and see if I hit it, and then like I can do the combo. But I think it's just the I don't know if this game has like a attack level hit stop. But anyway, we are we are tied up. Big pokes. It's kind of scrubby, but I kind of like. Driving packs. I mean, that's like the counterplay to the pokes. None of them are like special cancelable. Yeah, I remember I was talking to you about that. Are you saying something about that last night where you? A lot of characters have these big, long. Um, yeah. I think DJ. Uh, I was just talking about it. Uh, DJ, standing roundhouse, right? It's that big move that's not special cancelable, um, but does does a lot on counter hit. Uh, but I do a do drive impact and I die. Yeah. Yeah. All right. And the first game goes to Ego. Already paying off. Also, I, I love this secondary costume for Manon. Oh, yeah, it's like so it. sick. The original costume, I'm not. I actually like it quite a bit. Um, I think it's like a really interesting character design for a woman in a fighting game to oh, yeah. like have like a really kind of neutral, um, but also still like pays homage to her being a fashion designer. Yeah. And uh, still getting hit by the full screen command grab. I played Manon. I can have the mentality of having both characters. Oh. 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 <laughs> oh, man. I was learning some Shermie, and I was like, thank God I don't really like the neutral. Because then I got like the grab into level one, into level two, and I was like, why does this do so much? Yeah, the two one four A. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You toss, you toss them over, and then they just die. And they die. Anyway. Yeah. Manon, really cool. Yeah. I want to play with, but but they have to have drive right. Yeah. Really important. And and even then, it's like because you you have to have that and the the kind of more innate spatial awareness of one of these kind of longer range token characters, right? Because it's not like it's not like Zangief where you just kind of want to always be in their face. Like, Manon has a really good set spacing where her pokes beat your pokes and they go into things. Uh, is my understanding. I don't know if I'd say that. I'd say she has, like, really stubby until she commits a But, rather than goes, has, like, Yeah. 
Yeah. Starting the round with four medals, four or five. Um, yeah. Well, I know that like when we saw the the like kind of the initial release of the system mechanics, everyone was like, "Oh my god." Uh, a game where a dry rush exists and Zangief yeah. exists, and it turns out Zangief is having the same problem he's been having for 30 years. Oh, tragic. Oh, it does so much damage. So we got a, uh, we got, we've gone from one villain to another villain. Yeah. I feel. But switching away here too well. Yeah. That was fair. It was fair. I, uh, I was commentating Guile versus Guile yesterday and oh. it was, oh, is nice. like trying to, trying to be like, man, Sonic Boom, yeah. Sonic Boom. And it was Chuck who came out on top notably. Yeah. Putting a lot of work with that move right there. The, uh, I don't know the name of it because. In my brain, Gal has two special moves. And he like puts it out. Is it is it Sonic Cross? Yeah, I think so. And then boom it. Yeah, yeah. Because it's 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 the one that he uses to make the cross. Um. Well, I think it's cross when he puts. Yeah. He he booms through it. It makes it a cross. Yeah. 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 Um. But obviously, he was putting in a lot of work with it yesterday because yeah. it controls space and zoning situations. Um, but it also like. I did punish. Oof. He did both hits of Cal Sweet. Surprised I didn't punish. I did not know that Guile had a two hit sweep. Yeah, it's weird. Oof, going out. into burnout though. But I feel like Guile is like one of those characters who like. No, he cares about it like the least. Yeah. Like as you, long as he's not like in the corner. Yeah, in in like an an advent disadvent disadvantageous situation. Yeah. Like you get you get drive impact. It seems like by doing options, even if you're holding back, it goes up a little more. So like I'll just throw booms at you. Yeah. Uh, you get more of your drive meter back for walking. Through. Jumping. Not blocking. Yeah. Jumping actually slows it down. Actually. Does it? I mean, I think we're, I think, uh, Ego's looking for those perfect parries, but. Yeah, I think, you know, it's a good thing to get good at early. So. Yeah, I mean, because, like, my understanding is if you perfect parry a boom, it's, like, a pretty catastrophic situation for Guile. Like, like close-ish to medium range, and yeah. You well, it's like not even if you get a punish, you just like, if you're like kind of mid screen, you go right into pressure and then you're boxing with Guile and Guile can, like, he's got good tools, but like. I, I suppose, but uh, Guile will immediately start charging. Got yeah. Parry that. That flash. Fruit. Uh, yeah. But get the punish. Well, charges the wind. Yeah, you can't block immediately. Yeah. Does EX EX Condor go through projectiles? Yes, it does. Yeah. Does the regular one? Wait, it goes. Okay. Is it only the EX though, or does the regular one also? Okay. It would be really good for. Yeah. I mean, it's it's a resource. Got to do it. Um, Chuck putting in work with the uh, the thing I was doing when I played the closed beta, which is just a uh, yeah. That medium that medium punch target combo going into flash kick is very funny. See that big move. Yeah. 
Yeah. Flash kick. So much damage. Yeah. Wind clad though. Go through at any moment. One red oh, Sonic move. Oh, oh. I love that guy. I'll just German suplex his people. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. And Ego is now up on set point to go to Grands. Now, notably, uh, lost to Chuck playing JP as Lily. But, uh, but might be winning the Guile matchup. Yeah, yesterday Lily or uh, Ego played and he forgot the, the EX uh, He was convinced that uh, Lily had a bad matchup with Dial and he didn't know. And he remembered later he said, Oh no. Man, really well. <laughs> oh. Slightly misses the punish. Um, ooh, this, should, this should be big. Uh, I mean, both of them are like... A, a oh, let's go. And Ego takes it to go to Grands. 